Day 5 in Adelaide. Good morning everybody. So today is day 5. Went to the Barossa Valley yesterday. We uh, looked at the whispering walls. Um, we went and had some wine tours. Uh, went to the, the big toy factory as well. And today we are heading towards uh, uh, down handoff. Um, and then from there we are going to uh, McLaren, McLaren Vale and from McLaren Vale we'll be heading down towards Victor Harbour so stay tuned hello um, we have now got to the Mount Lofty summit so this was about a 25 minutes drive from our hotel in Adelaide the drive up was uh, was a nice uh, scenic route uh, up all windy roads but I love this area, look what you can see back there that's the whole Adelaide city out there so I'll turn the camera around and hopefully uh, give you a view of uh, what this area looks like it is pretty cool they've got a cafe just there and uh, you can have some coffee with these beautiful views so I'm going to turn the camera around now so you can actually see the Adelaide city there What a view. Hello, hello, we are finally in Handoff. So uh, Handoff was about a 20 minute drive uh, from Mount Lofty. So if you're coming from Adelaide, it's about uh, 50 minutes all up uh, using the freeway and then you cut into Handoff. So just to give you a bit on Handoff, Handoff is uh, basically an old German settlement um, based in uh, South Australia. Um, you. This place is uh, quite popular for its wineries. You've got farms around. Uh, basically, the, the town itself is just, you know, shopping and uh, dining. Uh, there's a lot of touristy stuff happening here. There's a botanical gardens down that side. Uh, we're gonna go to the animal petting farm, uh, which is not too far from where we are now. And if you look at the buildings, if you look at those buildings, they're all stone masonry, you know, all sort of buildings here, which are really nice to see. Um, we went back down that end there, you can see some really cool buildings, and this one here. So we're going here at the German Inn to have our breakfast. Um, this uh, German Inn is very well rate, rated and uh, it's uh, quite popular. If you look them up on Google, you can see that they've got very good ratings. So we figured we'll try the food here. Uh, they're very popular for their German sausages and the German beer if you're into beers So definitely uh, if you're down here do check out this restaurant. It's got really good. The building itself has got really good uh, Character to it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a, a short glimpse of uh... so That there is the German Inn uh, Parking is basically free parking around the street. It's a 3p parking area so which is quite good the only problem is uh, it's quite busy down here so you might have a bit of trouble trying to get parking we've got the hand of academy here which is a museum slash gallery lots of shops around as you can see as you walk down that way there are more restaurants and uh, uh, eateries 
gonna cross around now. I think the wife and the kids are already settled on the table. They've already probably ordered. Take a view in the restaurant. Germany. to eat actually in the outdoor more buildings I don't think the camera is doing justice to how beautiful the place is Another cafe here. It's a really busy street, but you can see it's a beautiful street with trees on both ends of the, uh, the road. Kind of Memorial Institute at the front, post office, and there you go. So, just a short snippet of the town. Uh, obviously there's more to see just trying to cover as much as I can and there's some people waving there <laughs> all right hello guys we have reached our third destination for the day which is McLaren wheel and I am at the cube uh, at the Ehrenberg winery vineyard so we are going to go in there and have a tour of the cube uh, from what I understand it's a $15 entry and for kids it's free today so this is a really beautiful spot uh, in there there's heaps that I hope to share with you there's a cafe wine tasting for those of you who are interested and just the whole area how they've done this place up is beautiful so this is the McLaren Vale uh, region in Adelaide and from here, once we are done with this place, we are going to head towards uh, uh, Richter Harbour for the, our last spot for the day. I'm just going to turn the camera across to show you what this place looks like. Alright, so turn the camera across. You can see there's a nice few sculptures there. That whole cube building. Some wines here. We've got the... Um, a few sheds at the back. What I've been told is that's where they keep their wine barrels and stuff. Heaps of parking. Some old buildings. There's a place for you to relax with your family down there. Some old repurposed wine barrels for you to stand, have a chat, a picnic if you like. They've got the Salvatore Deli here, which is a sculpture exhibition. You can enter in, you can enter in here as well, but we are not planning to do this simply because we don't have much time today. This place alone is so beautiful. Nice shady area. And down here you got some chairs just on the foot of the hill. 
giving you a killer view on that end. This whole region is just filled with vineyards. Definitely worth your time. Come here. <coughs> the cube, I've read a lot about it, so that's definitely worth a visit. It's got a 360 room in there. It's got some painting exhibition. It's got a cafe. It's got wine testing on the top. And what I hear is that the toilets. It's something special about the toilets apparently. So I'm going to try to see if I could uh, take a short video in the toilets as well. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so we are in the cube. Just paid for entry. So it's $15 uh, for an adult and uh, the kids are uh, going for free so I'm just going to give you a glimpse of what we have here so this is the art room it's a pretty interesting concept in here Not sure if it's clear enough, but uh, okay, we're entering into this room. Not sure if you can see here, but it's pretty creepy. It's like a ghost house. There's the ghost house there. So we are currently in the 360 room. The word around the block is that the toilets here are really special, so let's see what they have in the toilet. Alright, let's go in. Okay, the door. okay push the door. <laughs> Check out the guy with the real toilet. Don't do it, Miran. How cool are the toilets? It's like it. We just had a nice refreshing drink and now we are going up to the wine testing area. So 
so you get a complimentary wine testing with your uh, entry pass. from the balcony From another angle so This is the cube How beautiful is that? Hello, we are here at Victor Harbour now stop for the day. I'm not sure if you can hear me well. Uh, there seems to be a lot of wind. The temperature has dropped significantly. It's now 20 degrees. It's nice, nice and cool. So we've got our jumpers on. So that there is uh, Granite Island. So there's a jetty that you can walk through the island and then you can do a whole uh, circle around the island which is uh, roughly about a one hour walk from what they tell me. But uh, also home to some penguins and also uh, some dolphins. Uh, we'll find out what, what sort of penguins and dolphins as we walk through. So let's go walking. So it's uh, home to the uh, Botlinos uh, dolphin, the leafy sea dragon, New Zealand fur seal and the little penguins. So this is what Starting our journey, walking. Cross the jetty and we are on the island. I'm gonna walk straight and take a circle around the island. It's gonna be pretty cool. Just take it easy, enjoy the walk, and hopefully we can spot some penguins. Maybe. The water is quite subtle too here. Guys, it's chilling. These are amazing. Oh, so 
but apparently there's some veils here as well. There you go. Learn something new every day. It's probably called Granite Island because of all the granite rocks that you get here. See? Okay, so we're going up the staircase. You can see it's getting a bit cloudy, but it's just a nice sort of weather because if it's too hot, you can't really walk. So you can see how the sea is so calm on that side, but here the sea is really rough because it's open sea so you can see the waves really really rough
Okay, so we have just completed our circle around the island. It was indeed uh, quite spectacular. Um, this side of the island is where towards the, uh, the uh, jetty is, um, seems to be a bit more protected from the wind and the water is also very calm here. But on the other end of the island where it's uh, facing the open sea, the winds are really strong and also um, the waves are also looking quite strong. So um, yeah, definitely a good walk. And now we're going to head back to um, the other end of Victor Harbour and uh, go to the playground. The boys want to have a bit of a play. And then we'll probably look for some dinner and then head back to um, Adelaide. So that sums up our trip to Adelaide. So I hope you have found uh, the uh, video helpful the tips that we shared with you helpful i'll hopefully add some maps in the video as well to guide you through uh, if you if you decide to come down adelaide so just as a summary uh, we've been here for the past five days we've got two more days to go uh, the next two days we'll probably just uh, spend catching up with family and friends uh, and i think we are done with most of the bulk of the touristy stuff so just to give you an idea what we have covered so we looked at uh, tree climb, which is fun activity for the kids. We went to the market in, um, in Adelaide. So that was also really cool. We looked at West Beach Adventure, which was really, really fun. The giant swings were great. And then from there, we looked at Glenel uh, Beach, which was also really, really beautiful. And then yesterday we drove up the Barossa. So we started off uh, by going to the toy factory. And then from there, we went up to uh, the Whispering Walls. From the Whispering Walls, we went up to the Artisan uh, Winery up at the Barossa Valley. And then today we started off with the Mount Luffy uh, Lookout Point. And from there, we headed to Handoff and from Handoff uh, down to Victor Harbour. Sorry, before Victor Harbour, we went to McLaren Rail and we went to the Cube at the McLaren Rail, which was really great. And then uh, Victor Harbour down to Granite Island. And now we've concluded the trip. So definitely, if you are down here in Adelaide, Please do try to visit these uh, places. I think they are definitely uh, worthwhile going. Uh, I've tried to include uh, prizes so that that will help you in planning your trip. I've tried to include uh, distances that you need to travel so that that will, can also help you uh, plan your trip even better. So for those of you from Melbourne and Sydney, you would find Adelaide really different because it's much more quieter down here. The population isn't that high and it's much more relaxed. Driving in the city was really easy compared to Melbourne and compared to Sydney. So it's quite relaxing. And um, I also found the highlight of Adelaide was those electric scooters that they have everywhere in the city. Uh, three day pass for $24 and you just get on it and you can use it for up to two hours in a day which is great because you can just get from one point to another and me and the boys every night we uh we tried it out every night which was really really awesome so again thank you all for uh watching this video um and uh, if you have enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up do like do share and do subscribe uh, i know that 80 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel uh, giving me a like and a subscribe to the channel would really help the channel and also help the algorithm on YouTube so please do give me a like drop a comment in the comment section below a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one cheers